What's good, yo? It's your boy Spiritual Neasy, back with another video, man. Now in today's video, I want to talk to somebody directly, right? If God brought you to this video, I believe it was for a reason. Now, I don't know exactly who specifically I'm talking to, but I know I'm about to talk to somebody today. Stop running from God. Stop running from Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. The one who nobody loves you more than Jesus, right? You don't understand how much you hurt Jesus, how much you make his heart hurt when you run from him, right? Whether it be from fulfilling lust, fulfilling temptation, for gratifying your fleshly desires, whether it be you just being lost, right? I'm here to tell you that that love that you're looking for, that peace that you're looking for, that void inside you're looking to fill, it's not in the nightclubs. It's not in the weed. It's not in the Don Julio, the Casamigos, the alcohol. It's not in that sneaky link. Okay, because you got to understand that lust, when you, when you indulge in lust, it shows a lack of love in your heart, right? So you're not going to fulfill that love if you just keep showing that you have a lack of love. You're not going to fulfill that void that you're looking to fill in sin. You're just not going to find it in sin. The only way that you will find it is God. Jesus Christ says in John chapter 14, verse 16, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can get to God except through the son, Jesus Christ first. So you can't find God. You can't get to God. You can't get to the pearly gates unless you develop that intimate relationship with the son of man, with Jesus Christ. The one that died, the one that paid the price for our sins. Okay. I wish more people would understand that Jesus Christ is the only way that you will find your true purpose, that you will find true peace, true happiness in this world of pain that we live in. When you're going through trials and tribulations, we all do. We're all human. We are all sinners. But the difference is when you follow Christ, when you have Jesus in your life, you don't have to worry about a thing. You don't have to fret. You don't have to feel as if you're not good enough, right? Because Jesus, he, fulfill, he gives you that love. He gives you that Holy Spirit, right? He gives you that, 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 that he fills that hole that you're looking to fill up with sin, with temporary pleasure, with dopamine, right? Guys, you're never going to fulfill. Stop running from God, y'all. Stop running from God. Now, I know everybody got their own spiritual journey. Everybody got their own walk with Christ, right? That's why I'm not here to force God on anybody. But I'm here to tell you that I know it can be hard to be consistent sometimes. I know. I know it can be hard to choose God over the temptation, right? I know. I know what it feels like to be looking for peace and happiness through drugs, through alcohol, through fornication. And, and I can tell you, I never found it, right? I, I never found it. I, I only found it when I found God. That's when I found, that's when, that's when that, that void was fulfilled for me. That's when that peace, that love was starting to dwell within me when it was delivered to me, right? So listen, I know it can be hard to be consistent with God, especially my women out there that's following Christ. But you got to understand that the reason why it's so hard, especially for the women, is because you don't have that man of God you don't have that guidance that the man, the godly man will give you to keep you on track, to keep you consistent, right? Because the woman needs a man of God to keep her on track, to keep her, to keep her close to Christ. That's why it, it all stems back to Adam and Eve. That's why Eve is the one that gave into temptation. She chose Satan over God first. Eve was the first one. So it's just in the, in the, in the, in the woman nature. It's just in the Eve nature to you know struggle with choosing god over satan now listen this does not mean you know go look for a partner go look for a man no you don't want a demon you don't want someone it you don't want someone that's just gonna you know damage your relationship with christ and another thing too this lifestyle of being you know living for christ choosing god you can't be lukewarm you can't have one foot in and one foot out you got to be all in for Christ. You know, a lot of people might say that, you know, 
they, 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 they tried. They tried to turn to God. They tried to pray. But it just seems like he don't hear you. Or it seems like God gave up on you. Come on, man. That's blasphemy. God loves you so much. He, we serve a just God, a righteous God. So if you feel as if God is not hearing your prayers, your prayers aren't being answered. Remember Proverbs ch chapter 15, verse 29. That he says, Jesus, the Lord is far from the wicked. He only hears the prayers of the righteous. So if you feel, like, if you feel as if God isn't hearing you or, 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 or you're having a hard time believing that God is real, you have to evaluate yourself. You have to look at yourself and see, okay, am I wicked? Am I what Jesus talks about in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 29, how he's far away from me? What is wicked? It's fulfilling your 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 flesh is fulfilling it's being carnally minded is it's, it's every time you get tempted you give in you don't you don't resist for god okay because best believe that god doesn't tempt us right only satan does so when you give into that temptation what is that what is that saying that's saying that you gave into satan you chose satan over god okay now you might be asking how do i get this strength how do i get the strength to choose god prayer fasting the word the word of god you have to read the bible to understand god more to understand how he talks to us if you're not reading the bible you're not going to understand you're, you're you're not going to be able to really be on this narrow path to walk with christ cuz you're not going to know god the only way to get to know god is through the word of god and then follow up with prayer and fasting with pursuing righteousness right so listen back to what i was saying about a godly partner god is not going to give you that godly partner unless you're ready for it right and even me like i'm in my isolation season so i know i must not be ready for it yet but i know the more that i continue to stay on this narrow path and be intimate with jesus christ it's coming right i know that it's coming you, you have to hate this world. You have to leave this world behind for God to even get that godly partner ready for you, right? Because we know 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, if you have any love of the world in you, if you still have worldly desires, you're not worthy of a godly partner. You're not worthy. So you have to leave this world alone. You have to kill the old worldly self, the worldly version of you and be born again. This is how you receive God's love, God's blessings, God's purpose for your life, right? Because we know that if you love this world, you cannot love God simultaneously. You have to choose one. Just how you can't be lukewarm, right? Because in the book of Revelation, it says he spits out the lukewarm. So you can't be lukewarm. You can't be picking and choosing when you want to, you know, listen to God, right? You have to always, always be choosing God as much as you can. Yes, we're going to fall short. Yes, we are all sinners. But there's two types of people. There's the type of person that falls and get back, get, gets back up, the righteous one, and continues to pick up his cross and follow God. And then you have the second type of person that falls into calamity, into mischief. They get comfortable with their sin. They, 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 they backslide, right? They're back on that, on, that, on that broad path that leads to destruction, that leads to the lake of fire where Satan's going, right? So you got to really ask yourself, you know, I'm here to tell someone to stop running from God. You're not going to gain anything good from that. You're not going to gain anything good from running from God. You might as well suck it up, you know, grow the courage, grow the balls to turn to God and watch your life change, bro. Watch that void be fulfilled. Watch that peace and that love start to dwell within you, right? You cannot be lukewarm. In the book of Revelations, it says he spits out the lukewarm. So you can't just be half in and half out, man. You got to be all in. This, 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 this walk with this, this life of being a follower of Christ is all in. 110%, man. Not 50%, not 25%. No, you're all in. Okay. Choose God. Stop hurting his heart. Don't believe the lies of the enemy that you're too deep in the sin, that you're too bad of a person to turn your life around and to choose God. Okay.
That's what Satan wants you to believe because when you start to believe that, now you start to lose hope. And when you lose hope, you lose your faith. But God says all it takes is the faith of a mustard seed, right? So when you believe these lies of Satan, you're diminishing your hope, you're diminishing your faith. And and and, and he and, and and Satan and his angels, they jump, they they rejoice. They rejoice when you believe his lies, man. When you fall into temptation, oh best believe the enemy is rejoicing. He's happy, right? So listen, bro. Stop running from God. You're 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 gonna experience better if you just turn to him now, how you are. Jesus doesn't ask us to be, you know, all perfect when we turn to him. No, he says to come to us as we are, come to him as we are and he will accept us. Okay, so stop waiting for the perfect moment. You know, stop, stop. I, I'm too young. I got time to live. No. In the book of two Corinthians, it says today is the day of salvation. Turn to God now before it's too late. It's never too late to turn to God until it's too late, y'all. We in the end times. You know, look around. Pay attention to what's going on. We in the end times. Jesus is Jesus Christ is coming soon. So I'm here to encourage anybody and everybody watching this video. Stop running from God. Turn to God. If you're already with God, stay on that narrow path. I'm here with you, brother, sister in Christ. We got to keep going. We got to keep fighting this good fight of faith and saving souls. For the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of heaven, man. So that's all I got for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers now. We just hit a thousand subscribers. So I love y'all, man. I love y'all so much. I, I appreciate the support for real. It keeps me going. I read every comment. And yeah, man. So with that being said, it's been your boy Neezy. Till next time, I'm out, bro. Peace.